Greetings, my young friend. Today in this video, I'll tell you a lot of interesting and educational things. We'll dive into the world of space that surrounds us. At the end of the video, there will be a short survey about what I'll tell you. I'm sure you'll answer everything correctly. So, let's get started. Let's get to know the solar system, which contains eight planets. Each planet is in its own orbit. You're probably interested to know what an orbit is. An orbit is the trajectory of a planet's movement. Each planet has its own trajectory, which is why we cannot see them, since each planet is very far away for us. Now I will tell you interesting facts about each planet in the solar system. Neptune is the farthest planet from the Sun. Because of this, Neptune is completely covered in ice. Neptune is home to some of the most powerful hurricanes in the solar system, with wind speeds reaching 1,300 miles per hour. The planet received its name in honor of the Roman god of the seas and oceans, Neptune. It was one of its discoverers, Urbain La Verrier, who suggested naming it this way. So now we've learned something new about a planet like Neptune. An amazing planet. It's good that life arose on another planet. Okay, now I'll tell you some interesting facts about a planet like Uranus. A day on Uranus lasts 17 Earth hours, and a year lasts 84 Earth years. Uranus is considered the coldest planet in the solar system. Although Neptune is located further from the Sun, the lowest temperature was still recorded on Uranus, it was minus 124 C. Although the winds on the planet are not as powerful as on Neptune, they are also quite strong and their speed can reach 49,000 to 113 feet per minute. The diameter of Uranus is about four times larger than that of the Earth. If you compare the Earth with a large orange, the size of Uranus can be compared to a soccer ball. The planet itself was named after the ancient Greek god of the sky Uranus. According to legend, he was the spouse of Gaia land and belongs to the oldest generation of Greek gods. Well, can you imagine? In 17 hours on Uranus, 84 years would pass on Earth. How many of my educational stories would have been missed? Well, let's continue our wonderful research and explore a planet like Saturn. The most recognizable feature of Saturn is the rings around the planet. And this is not the only planet with rings in the solar system. All gas giants have them. But Saturn has the biggest ones. Saturn is classified as a gas giant along with Jupiter, Neptune, and Uranus. These planets do not have a hard surface like Earth or Mars. They mainly consist of gas. On Saturn, diamonds are actually formed in the clouds. And it rains all over the planet. This is because the planet has layers of the atmosphere where the temperature and pressure are so high that methane molecules turn into diamonds. Hum, how amazing this planet Saturn is. We've already explored three of the eight planets in our solar system. We've learned a lot of interesting things. We learned that Uranus has a long year, Saturn has the largest rings, and Neptune is completely covered in ice. Well, let's continue our journey by exploring a planet like Jupiter. Jupiter is one of the two gas giant planets in the solar system. Like Saturn, it has no hard surface and consists mainly of hydrogen and helium. Jupiter is about 317 times more massive than Earth and 1300 times larger. Jupiter is raging with the largest atmospheric 14 in the solar system. It is visible on the surface of the planet and is an orange-red elliptical spot, which gave it its name. Our entire planet would fit into the size of such a spot. Despite the extreme conditions on the planet's surface, scientists do not exclude the possibility of the existence of any forms of life in some layers of the atmosphere. For example, in the form of microorganisms or some other small organic structures adapted to life in a gaseous environment. Wow, Jupiter is not a very small planet. It's a pity that there are such strong winds throughout the solar system. There are not many planets left to study the solar system. So, on your way, my young friend. The next planet is Mars. In clear weather, Mars can be found in the sky even without a telescope and binoculars that looks like a bright star. Mars looks like a red dot in the starry sky, so the planet was named after the ancient Roman god of war Ars. Mars is more similar to the Earth than other planets, so a lot of books have been written about it and a variety of science fiction films have been made. However, the fact that there is no water on the surface does not mean that it is not in the bowels of the planet. For example, in 2018, a report based on Mars's radar data was published. This information indicates the presence of an ice lake on Mars, located at a depth of about 1.5 kilometers, and its width is about 20 kilometers. Well, maybe in ancient times there was still life on Mars. If it's so similar to our planet, 
Interesting, of course. Well, the next planet, as you might have guessed, is our beloved planet Earth. The Earth is the only place in the universe where life exists. At least, scientists have not yet been able to prove the existence of at least the simplest forms of life on other planets. The Earth consists of 70% water, most of which falls on the world ocean. That is, there is twice as much water on our planet as land. Most of the drinking water on Earth is not in rivers, seas and lakes, but in a solid state. These are glaciers, permafrost, and snow cover. Yes, the Earth is truly a beautiful planet. We have only two planets left, after which I will ask you one question for each of them. I'm sure you can give them the right answer. And the next planet is Venus. Venus is very similar to our planet, which is why it is called the sister of the Earth. Venus is the hottest planet, even compared to Mercury. The temperature on the surface is 470 C, while the maximum temperature on Mercury is 427 C. There is no water at all on the surface of the planet. A slight water content was found in the atmosphere, a 0.003%. Another feature of the planet is acid rain made of sulfuric acid, which evaporates without reaching the surface. The planet rotates around its axis very slowly, so a day lasts longer than a year. What a strange planet Venus is, and it's cold and hot at the same time. Well, here we are coming to the end of the study of the solar system. And we have the last planet left in it, and it's Mercury. Like the moon, there are craters and small mountains on the surface of Mercury. According to photographs from space, it is sometimes difficult to distinguish where the moon is and where Mercury is so these celestial bodies are so similar. Mercury was called the god of ancient Rome, the patron of merchants. The planet Mercury got his name. Fans can see Mercury through a conventional telescope, as well as without special equipment. It appears in sight in the morning near the sunrise, and in the evening at its sunset. On the side of the planet that is illuminated by the sun, the surface temperature reached plus 410 degrees Celsius. On the opposite side, on the contrary, it is very cold up to minus 110 degrees Celsius. That's all. You and I have just learned some of the most interesting facts about each planet in our solar system. And now we will name one interesting fact about each of these planets. Let's start our little survey. How long is one day on Uranus? That's right, 17 days. A day on Venus lasts longer than its year. That's because Venus completes its orbit around the Sun before it has a chance to rotate on its own axis. How many times is the diameter of uranium greater than the diameter of the Earth? Correct for times. What is Saturn's recognizable feature? Correct for times. Which planet is considered a gas giant besides Jupiter? Congratulations! It's Saturn, that's right! After which god is the planet Mars named? Perfect! It's ours! What percentage of the Earth is water?
That's right, the Earth is 70% water. What does rain on Venus consist of? That's right, the rain on Venus is made up of acid, which is why it has acid rain. What celestial body is Mercury confused with? That's right, Mercury is confused with the Moon because Mercury's surface also has craters and small mountains. Congratulations, you're a great guy if you answered all of them correctly. Space is an infinitely vast and little explored territory. Space is incredibly interesting and captivating. I'll tell you many interesting and informative things, and to keep up with it, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date with new videos. Until next time! My dear friends,